guys, this is Doron's Movies, and welcome to the last part of the Akir series. In this video, I will be covering the last Akir faction known as the Manted, going through their origins, history, and culture. So, without further ado, let's get into the lore. The Manted are a group of Akir that split from the original races. Out of all of the three, they have the most confusing origin, as really they were added to the Akira history in Mists of Pandaria, so they were kinda tacked on. We know that they were definitely a part of the Black Empire and that they have worshipped the old gods. However, it is not certain whether they built their empire on Pandaria after Azekir fell, or if the Manted Empire was just one part of Azekir. The main reason for this suspicion is because the war against the trolls happened approximately 16,000 years back, and the Pandaren Rebellion happened about 12,000 years ago, yet everyone refers to the Manted as the ancient race of Pandaria, and that the Pandaren are a child race. Obviously, all Akir are ancient as they were a part of the Black Empire, the first civilization in Azeroth, but it could possibly be that Azekir before it fell was actually spanning across the entirety of Pandaria as Azeroth at the time was just one continent so it could have been connected. Nevertheless, the Manted still have a long history in Pandaria and they have built an entire independent civilization. The center of their society is Yasharaj, the only old god that we know has actually died. It is uncertain if the Manted just stumbled onto him, like the Kiraji stumbled onto Katoon, but the most likely case, in my opinion, is that the worship has its roots in the ancient Black Empire, so they have been worshipping him for thousands and thousands of years. Since we currently don't have any knowledge of the timeline, we don't know exactly when Yasharaj fell, but allegedly it happened in the first encounter between the Titans and the Old Gods. When the titans killed him, he corrupted the land of Pandaria with the Shah and then they learned that the old gods are so deeply rooted into the world that they just can't kill them and they have to imprison them instead. Even though dead, the Manted still worship him and they have battled the Mogu for thousands of years as the Mogu are titan creations, therefore creations of the ones that murder their gods. Now, Lei Shen, the Mogu Emperor, he enslaved all of the other races on Pandaria, but he knew that the Manted were impossible to subjugate and he was constantly at war with the Manted. So instead of attempting to control them, he commanded the slaves to construct the Serpent Spine, a gigantic wall that spanned the length of his entire empire. Until recently, the war has been more than effective at containing the Manted, although that did not stop them from constantly swarming it. In fact, swarm assaults became a big part of their society and, in a way, a cultural rite of passage. Every new Manted generation, they send their young to attack the wall and only the strongest ones return and most of them actually die. This way they cull the weak, weaken their enemies and make their own people stronger and more experienced in combat. Up until Mists of Pandaria, these attacks were predictable and the Shadow Pan, since the Bogu Empire fell, have been guarding the wall pretty well, but the latest form happened 10 years too early and was the most vicious one in history of the Manted. The reason for this is because the Empress of the Manted has been corrupted by the Shao Fear and she just started going all out. This time they did manage to actually break a section of the wall and spread to the parts of Pandaria where they have never been before. And of course this would be fine as they want to conquer the world, but the cost is just too great and the Empress is driving the Empire into the ground. The Manted are essentially being corrupted by the Shah, and most importantly, their sacred Kiperi trees are being corrupted. Some would think the trees weren't important, but the reason why they're so crucial is because through the trees they gather Ember, which is the cornerstone of their society. By using it, they develop their architecture, art, technology, weapons, and almost everything else they possess. And by destroying the source of Ember, their civilization is being crippled and in the long run destroyed. 
So, in order to counter this, the Klaxi, a council of mantid elders, realize that they need to unseat the Empress and retake their society. They are very weak by themselves, but they have access to the Paragons, which are the best warriors of the Mantid, that willingly allow themselves to be freezed in time, only to be awakened in the most dire circumstances in order to protect their civilization. So with the help of the players that they through a great deal of struggle accepted as the Wakeners in order to help them and the Paragons, they managed to defeat the Empress and rid their society of the Shah corruption. Even though free, the future hasn't been very bright. Most of the Kiparitris were killed off by the Shah, and once Ganash recovered the heart of Yashiraj, the Klaxi allied themselves with the Warchief. The reason why they did this is because Yashiraj is their only one and true ruler, and even if the Empress, if she was alive, didn't want to join Yashiraj, the rest of the Mantid would still do it, as it is their primal urge to follow the old gods. So, their best warriors, Paragons, took up guard beneath Orgrimmar in order to protect the heart of their old old god leader, but in the end with the siege of Orgrimmar they were all defeated. So now their empress is dead, paragons, their best warriors killed off, and the trees which are their lifeblood are mostly dead as well. This makes their future very uncertain, but it doesn't mean that they're dead and they might be able to return or regroup at some point in the future. Alright, that is all I have for this video, now do leave your feedback on this entire Akira series and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already as it really helps out and keeps all the videos going and thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.